ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Nick Shades, and I'm going to show you my sump that I have currently on my 90 gallon reef tank. Uh, the sump is a 20 gallon long with a customized baffle system that was ordered off of eBay for approximately $30. Uh, this sump, as stated before, is for a reef tank. Uh, however, the concepts are nearly identical for a freshwater system. The video is going to jump around a little bit, so I apologize if you get motion sickness or anything of that nature. I'll try and keep it on as minimal a level as possible. Uh, and I'll go ahead and work it through piece by piece, so try and stick through every little moment and try not to skip around, and I'll try and answer every little facet to it. Uh, beginning <clears throat> with the return line, um, or I, rather I should say from the drain line, I'm going to show you how everything goes through the sump and then I'll back it up and let you see everything from the distance of how everything works with the sump in the display tank down. Okay, here you go. So, 20 gallon long with a lot of stuff in front, so there's going to be a little bit difficulty to see everything. Uh, this is the drain line right here. Drain line comes up from the display tank, comes down via this line, and lands right here. Now, um, <clears throat> I have basically a silencing baffle system, which is just a whole bunch of reducers on this. It's a little bit hard to get to because I got the protein skimmer in the way. If you can go with a big sump, always go bigger than you actually need because it gives you a lot more room. If you're getting a sump for a small system, you're only gonna be able to use so much. So that's where that drain line is right there. <clears throat> it's gonna be very hard to see it, how it works. So that drain line from the display tank goes into a one inch elbow and the elbow has a baffle of a coupler and then you can see the coupler right there. What I'll do is basically you've got another elbow right here. It comes out of the drain and right on this end, you put a one inch pipe right through there of PVC. And then uh, you put, um, well you put a coupler actually right here. Uh, you get, you, you got a one inch that comes right here and then you put a coupler on that to extend it out, don't cement it, and then uh, you go ahead and put inside of that coupler at the bottom a three quarter inch PVC so that it sort of narrows itself out. <clears throat> now, next thing that happens is once the display tank drains in from that hose down through the baffle system, that allows it to silence, you can see this tray right here, or let me go ahead and touch right there, is a sock tray. This tray, you normally put a sock for the drain line to drain into. So uh, these, I, I have two of them, so I go from one to the other and clean it by hand. Um, they, they are basically filtering floss. Uh, they, they polish the water, they get any detritus that's in the water column from settling elsewhere in the system. Uh, down here, I have 